Roger and Vivian de Stoop came to Australia in 1952 from Belgium. And what was extraordinary is they didn't only bring their five children, they also brought 20 textile workers and their families with them. So it was 100 people that came all the way from Belgium. The way the Charles Blackman paintings came into the de Stoop collection is really a, a beautiful story about friendship. The de Stoops frequented Balzac restaurant, which was owned by the Moors, and it's there that they saw the trumpeter, and that was the first painting they acquired. The second one was The Boy in the Bush was also on display there, but that actually came through the friendship with uh, Charles Blackman, who was a chef at Balzac. The Boy in the Bush and the trumpeter are from the sort of the early stages or the earlier part of his career and it follows on from the seminal Schoolgirl series and is the moment before he moves into Alice in Wonderland. These works are really important because they're wonderfully eloquent representations of modernism. Joy Hester was the only female member of the Angry Penguins a group that sort of centred around Heidi. Joy Hester stood out from the rest of the group uh, because her work was probably a little bit more introspective and she also worked with pen and ink or brush and ink and she, also, she had quite an emotional uh, tone to her work. She, she was in, uh, concerned with the life of the mind. There's a very strong psychological aspect. There was a, quite a lot of tension in her work, a lot of push and pull. Girl with Cocky differs from her earlier works in that the medium is no longer just merely brush and ink. It's a little bit more, for want of a better word, relaxed um, or even more subtle than her earlier work. So you have the young girl with her open eyes suggesting maybe innocence, vulnerability, and she has this lovely pink cockatoo on her arm. And that at that point, Joy Hester was living uh, in the countryside and living amongst nature and not necessarily wanting to represent the landscape, in, in a, but, but wanting to maybe represent in some ways the relationship between humans and nature. But I also think you could read it that there's an element of danger having a, a wild animal on your arm and, and how the young girl and the cocky have a, a an element of trust and how they navigate their relationship and I also draw a comparison to the navigation of adolescence.